this is MJ and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make our Desert Dunes mosaic blanket. This blanket is worked in Brava worsted weight and the colors that I'm using are white and brindle. And the hook size that I'm using for this tutorial is a 5.5 millimeter eye hook and this is my Furls Odyssey crochet hook in navy. This pattern has two sizes, so you can make the baby size or the throw blanket size. So our baby size is 35 by 40 inches and the throw is 50 by 60 inches. So our blanket has sections of white single crochet stitches. Then we have a section of mosaic, then a section of white, a section of mosaic, etc. So that's how the blanket is worked. So the white section is quite simple. We're just working single crochet stitches. So I'm not going to go through all of that with you, but I will go through our mosaic chart with you so that you're able to successfully complete the chart. Okay, so for the baby size, you'll be chaining out 106 and for the throw size, 150 stitches. Our blanket is worked in a multiple of eight plus two. So I'm gonna just make a smaller swatch to work through the pattern with you. So I'm gonna chain out a total of 18 just to keep my swatch small. So we're gonna work in the back leg of the chain. So you just wanna turn your chain onto the side, find those little back humps. And that's what we're going to work into. So the second chain from the hook, working into that back leg. So you're going to work that all the way across. So at this point, you should have 105 stitches and 149 sti or 149 stitches. I, of course, have the smaller swatch. And what you'll be doing now is just working rows of single crochet. So chain one, turn, and then you're just working single crochet stitches in every stitch across. Okay, so the first section of the blanket is going to be in white. So I will let you know here how many rows and do a little pop-up for you. Um, you'll be working rows 2 through 21 for the baby or row up to row 27 for a throw size and that's all in the white just rows of single crochet. Okay but I'm going to show you once the mosaic chart begins. So Row one of the mosaic chart then begins. So you've worked um, 21 or 27 rows. We're gonna work one more row here in the white, okay? I'm not going through all that white section because that's just repetitive. So I'm starting you off here at the mosaic pattern. So this would be a row 22 of white or row 28 of white. I'm just gonna get this worked all the way across. Okay, and then we are going to cut a. You are going to need to weave ends for this blanket. I'm not doing a border or anything around it, so there will be weaving required. But you have a good chunk of just white sections, so it'll only be the mosaic section that you'll need to weave. Okay, so I've done row one of the mosaic chart. Next is row two. So let me just do an explanation on how to read this. Okay, so to read your mosaic chart, 
each row here is worked in a different color. So we're working A, B, A, B. So we're working white and brindle. A is white, B is brindle for the desert dunes patterns. So you can see every other row is worked in this alternating color pattern. So when you look at the chart, ignore the pattern that you see, ignore the different boxes or different colors, okay? You're not gonna be changing color throughout a row. This is all you pay attention to for color. What you wanna look at is whether we're working a single crochet in the back loop only, a drop down double crochet with an X or a single crochet through both loops. So the beginning and end of the blanket will work through both loops. So that's consistent throughout the whole pattern. Your first stitch, last stitch will both be worked uh, as a single crochet. So row one is all worked here in the white. Row two is all worked through the back loop only in color B. Then when we get to row three, that's when things start changing up with drop downs. So we're dropping down two rows below, working in the front loop. That's why we work in the back loop so that there's that loop available. And this is what creates the pattern because when we drop down, it covers up this row to create the pattern. So it's really simple. You still work all of this row in white. You're just either working in the back loop or doing a drop down. And this stitch pattern is worked for the blanket or the pillow. So let's get into it and I'm going to show you our repeat, which is row three through 14. So I'm going to work through all of these rows with you. Okay, so for row two, we're joining. We're always working from our right to the left. We're joining in here. And we're gonna work a single crochet in the first stitch. So let's chain one and we're working a single crochet. And what I am gonna do is to save a little of the weaving time, I will crochet over this tail as I go along. So this entire row is worked in the back loop only with the exception of the first and last stitch going through both loops. It really is not going to be the end of the world if you do in the back loop. I just think it makes the stitch a little bit more neat, a little more secure to do that. So. Okay, so I've worked across. Now in the last stitch, we'll work a single crochet. Then you can cut. Okay, so let's take a look at row three. We're gonna work a single crochet in the first stitch, back loop only, and then a drop down. Three in the back loop only, a drop down. Three in the back loop, a drop down. As you can see, it's repetitive. Just another thing I love about mosaic, once you un once you get a handle on the pattern, just it repeats itself across. So we're back to color A. And we're going to join into the first stitch with a chain one. And we'll work a single crochet and we'll crochet over the tail. So we're gonna go in the back loop only for the first stitch. And now we're doing a drop down in the next, okay? So here's the next stitch. Go below that stitch and you'll see the front loop. So yarn over, we're gonna work a double crochet, two rows below into that front loop. Then we do three in the back loop, one, two, three, so one, two, three. So here again is that loop below the stitch and we do a drop down. One, two, three, and a drop down. 
So now I'm coming up to the end. Drop down. Single crochet in the back loop. And a single crochet in that final stitch. And then we'll chain one. Sorry, you don't need to chain one. You don't need to do that if you're weaving. So just cut it and then pull it through. And then you're gonna have to weave these ends in over here. Okay, so for row four, we're gonna join in with a chain one, work a single crochet through both loops and also bringing along that tail. So now if we look at our chart, one, two, three, we have three in the back loop, one, two, three, and then our drop down, it's nice to eyeball this out. We have three front loops here where it's going in the center of those. And then we have three in the back loop. One, two, three, and then we're dropping down in the center again. One, two, three, drop down, one, two, three, and a single crochet in the last stitch. Cut. Okay, so for row five, now all of it always starts the same, so we're joining in with a slip stitch and chain one and a single crochet. So I won't go through that every single time, just so I can get through. We've got 14 rows to go through. Okay, so single crochet in the first, and if we look here, we have a drop down, back loop, drop down, back loop, drop down, back loop, across like that. So it's real, this one's really repetitive, easy to remember. So drop down, back loop, drop down, back loop, drop down, back loop, and just keep repeating that across. So I finished off here with a single crochet. Okay, and now we're on to row six. Okay, row six, we're gonna work, basically here we are just repeating row four. So we're gonna work three in the back loop. One, two, three, then a drop down, then three. One, two, three, and a drop down. Repeat that across, ending with your single crochet in the last stitch and cut. We're always ending the same as how we start, okay? Because we want that symmetrical look. We want it to begin and end the same. And this is how it's looking can already start to see the pattern. Okay, so I'm working row seven, single crochet in the first, 
And seven is a repeat here of row three. So you can see, so we're doing back loop, drop down, back loop in the next three, drop down, back loop next three, etc. And definitely crocheting over those tails helps us with some weaving. So drop down and then in the next three back loops. And our drop down's going between these three to finish off that little shape that we're making there. One, two, three, drop down. One, two, three, drop down. And then back loop, single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so now we are on to row eight. Row eight is a repeat of five, but in B, we're gonna have a drop down. We've already worked that first single crochet, so drop down, back loop, drop down, back loop, drop down, back loop, drop down, and just repeat that. I'm ending there with my drop down and then a single crochet in the last stitch. Okay, so row nine is now a repeat of row four, but in A. So we're gonna work three in the back loop. Already worked that single. Then our drop down is going in between here. Work three in the back loop. One, two, three. The next one is just going between these doubles again. Drop down. And repeat that across. So we're ending with three. Single crochet in the last. And now if you're working on the pillow, you're chaining one and cutting. For the blanket where we're weaving, I'm just cutting. Okay, and you can really see that pattern coming together. Okay, and row 10 is a repeat of row three with B. So we're gonna work in the back loop. We'll do a drop down. And then three in the back loop. One, two, three. And then that drop down's going between these three. And one, two, three. One, two, three. Drop down and then we'll end with a back loop. 
and a single crochet chain one and cut for the pillow and just cut for the blanket okay so row 11 now is a repeat of row five we're gonna have a drop down already worked the single so we've got a drop down back loop drop down back loop and drop down whoops so you're just repeating that all the way across so drop down back loop drop down so I'm ending with that drop down single crochet in the last stitch Okay, so now we're on to row 12. And remember for the pillow, we're always chaining one and joining with that single crochet. We're not weaving the tails. But for the blanket, it's done a little different. So the stitch pattern's the same, just the start and the end is a little different. Okay, so 12 is a repeat of row three with B. So we are doing a single crochet in the back loop and then a drop down. Of course, we worked the single first single crochet already. And then we have three in the back loop, one, two, three, and then we're doing a drop down, three in the back loop, and a drop down. Okay, and repeat this across. back loop and you just want to cut your tails long enough for weaving for the pillow we don't have to do any weaving which is awesome okay so that's done, now we're on to row 13. Row 13 is a repeat of row four with A. So we're gonna work, <clears throat> I've worked the single crochet already, now we'll work three in the back loop. And then a drop down. Three in the back loop. and then a drop down. And you're just repeating that all the way across. So our last stitch, I've worked the three in the back loop and now a single crochet. And we're on to row 14, which is the final row of the repeat. And 14 is a repeat of row five with B. Okay, so a lot of them are just repeating themselves across. And once you get familiar with the pattern, it's really easy. You almost don't even need the chart to look at because it is so repetitive. So chain one, work a single crochet. So then we're gonna go drop down, back loop, drop down, back loop, drop down, back loop, all the way across.
Okay, so just repeat that across. Okay, so I've worked that all the way across. So that is the chart for the mosaic pattern. So for the blanket, we are crocheting over ends and then you can trim off your tails. You can weave them back a little bit in the opposite direction to secure them. And then all of these tails will need to be woven in. Now for the pillow, it's much easier. We don't have to weave. We're gonna do a slip stitch border around, but let's go through the details of all of that. Okay, so for the blanket, what you're gonna do is let's first talk about the baby size. So the baby, you're gonna work rows 15 through 26. So you're gonna work the mosaic pattern rows three through 14, what I just showed you how to do. So you're gonna work them one more time, okay? So you'll work that mosaic pattern one more time. And for the throw blanket, you're gonna work rows 15 through 43. So you'll work the mosaic pattern three through 14 two more times. And then for the throw, you're also going to work rows three through seven one more time, okay? So to get you up to 43 rows of mosaic pattern in total. Okay, so that's what you're gonna do. And now then the solid pattern, you're gonna work it again. So rows one through 21 for your baby or rows one through 27, you're just gonna work your single crochet you're gonna add on your white yarn and you're just gonna work single crochet stitches just like you did at the beginning, okay, for either 21 rows or 27 rows. So then what you'll do, I'm gonna pop this up to help you, but then what you're gonna do is you're gonna repeat that mosaic and solid pattern that we've gone through two more times to complete your blanket. Okay, so I will put that up just in a little um, message just so you can kind of get it in your head. But that is how the blanket, it's just basically we're just repeating our sections of mosaic and our sections of white. So you'll have three sections of mosaic and you'll have one, two, three, four sections of the solid pattern. And then to finish off the blanket, you can make some tassels. I'm going to pop up here a video that you can watch to make the tassels. We've made 16 for the baby and 22 for the blanket. And we've just lined them across the bo both ends of the blanket. So you can do either, um, so for your baby, you're having eight on one side, eight on the other for a total of 16. And for the throw, you have 11 and 11. So I'm gonna pop up that video if you wanna watch how to make those tassels to finish off your blanket. And to weave in your ends, you just wanna take your yarn needle. When you're going across, you want to take the light colors. So our brindle, we wanna weave it through the brindle, not the white, because you don't want to see any of that. And you're just gonna take your ends, you're gonna weave them. I've cut my tails fairly short. You can leave your tail sort of what you need to weave. And then going back in the opposite direction is really just gonna secure all of those tails. 